Are you seriously still here? Yes, yes. I'm waiting for that call. I tried calling you, but it went to voicemail. Yeah, I know. Someone stole my phone. Just come on and get in the car. You don't look so good, man. No, I've got to wait for this call. Whatever you're waiting for, it's just not worth it. Come on. Well, I'm going to wait, but, but thanks for stopping by. How long am I going to be here? This isn't going to work. What do you mean it's not going to? It'll work. No, 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 no. Don't be so negative. Oh, think about all the money. This isn't worth it. Ah. All right, next up we have an amazing short called The Last Prayer by Brandon Boulay and Adam Hutchinson, uh, both from MCAD here in Minneapolis. Um, I will, I promise, someday have Brandon on uh, to interview because he's an amazing filmmaker. He's in his final year at MCAD, so hopefully I can get him before he leaves. Um, but uh, he has lots of great shorts. I've worked with him briefly in one of them. I was an extra, and it's just a treat to watch him work. So here is The Last Prayer. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession, my son? It's been almost five years. Have you lost faith in God? I've lost faith in man because man has lost faith in God. 
I don't understand what you mean, son. The church is merely run by men. I only question how clean their hands are. What's created this bitterness in you? Someone very close to me was lost prematurely. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sure the Lord had a reason. She didn't leave this world by the hand of the Lord, but instead was taken from it by a man with a mere facade of faith. Taken? She was murdered? By someone she loved. Trusted. Weakness in love is part of human nature. This man had already committed his life to God. Regardless, the Bible teaches us to forgive. I can't forgive until all is accounted for. There's no revenge so complete as forgiveness. A pure soul can forgive any sin. We have a guilty man is crooked. As for the pure, he's gone to deserve right. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that thou makest account of him? Man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passeth away. Bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down and touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning and scatter them, shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. Send thine hand from above, rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee.